President Castro, Vice President Uoa, my former colleagues in the United States Congress, our friends, members of the Salvadorian government and distinguished guests, welcome to this incredible celebration of friendship. I am the founding chairman of the U.S. El Salvador Congressional Caucus, and while God's path has taken me away from congressional service, founding this caucus, growing its membership, and leaving it in your capable hands is among my most important and rewarding work. I also want to thank the tremendous team here at the National Archives. It's not an accident that we chose this venue for our celebration of friendship. This is the place where the United States keeps our most cherished and our most important documents. And it seemed like an appropriate place to bring our deeply cherished and important friends. Under the visionary leadership of President Nayib Bukele, El Salvador has undergone a transformation unlike any other nation in the Western Hemisphere, possibly the world. And a bipartisan, practical coalition in the United States Congress has taken notice. It is the organizing principle of this caucus that we should have friendly relations between our countries and that Congress must play a key role in fulfilling that objective. Members of our caucus traveled to El Salvador earlier this year. We observed the country safe, hopeful, and brimming with possibility. We met the police heroes who keep El Salvador's streets safe and the entrepreneurs who are leveraging surfing, coffee, waterfalls, and even volcanoes for tremendous prosperity. But we didn't just see the best of El Salvador. We also saw some of the worst. At Sakat, we thanked the brave guards who work every day so that the criminal element cannot terrorize the good people of El Salvador, or for that matter, the United States. The first policy initiative of this caucus was to downgrade the travel advisory from the U.S. State Department to accurately reflect that El Salvador is safe for Americans to visit. Every member of our caucus participated in this initiative, left, right, and center, and the Biden-Harris administration gave our argument thoughtful consideration, and they, they participated in this initiative, and I am proud to announce that we were successful and the travel advisory was downgraded. <laughs> My charge to the members of this caucus is to build on your tremendous momentum upon my departure from the Congress. Do more to give the U.S.-El Salvador relationship its own dignity, not merely to be lumped into the circumstances that may exist in other parts of Central America, but that El Salvador is fighting against with good policy choices and impeccable results. Lead more congressional delegations to El Salvador. Thank our U.S. service members who are building capability with the Salvadorian military and understand that we are working with friends, friends who look to the United States, use our currency, they admire our values, and they are working to see that there is more safety and security and hope both in El Salvador and in the United States. And this would never have been possible without a great partner and friend of mine, uh, Congressman Vincente Gonzalez of Texas knows Latin America, Central America very well. He's worked this part of the world. He has extensive relationships, and I, I leave this uh, great caucus in your capable hands.